which means that it's new makeup release Friday. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. Today is one of my favorite series to do. It's where we sit back, relax, and talk about all the new makeup releases and whether or not we think it's worth it. So you guys wanna see what's coming out this week. Am I gonna get anything? Well then definitely keep watching. Not gonna lie guys, I feel so bad. I feel so bad, I am taking some Dayquil to try to help, but I feel like crap, but the show must go on. I didn't wanna miss a new makeup release for you guys, so I am here. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions about my nails. Y'all seem to really enjoy my nails. These are Kiss Press On Nails. Kiss Press On Nails, if I could find it, on the Target website. I will link it down below for you guys. But these are Kiss Press On Nails. I think they're super cute. They're gonna come off this weekend because I'm gonna switch them over to a different set. Every week I'm gonna try to do different nails just because I really do enjoy Kiss Press On Nails. I probably won't do long ones anymore because these long ones are just a bitch to work with. But I do enjoy having the Kiss Press On Nails. They're great. So with that said guys, we're gonna go ahead and just dive into all the new makeup releases that are coming out this weekend. We're gonna let you guys know whether or not I think it's worth it. So let's go ahead and dive straight on in. So first things first, we're going to hop on over to Trend Moods Instagram. And so up first, we do have the Young, Wild, and Three Cake collection by Made by Mitchell. This is the third anniversary birthday collection. So it looks like it's going to be coming out with like some blush palettes, some lippies, some lip liners, some pretty much some goodies. I don't really ever shop this brand. Um, I do a few products from the brand because of my amazing friend Mikey, but I don't really ever like shop the brand. I know the customer service is actually horrible because Mikey tells me about his experience every single time in the customer service, but he just loves the product so much that he just suffers through it. But if you guys did you like Made by Mitchell, the third birthday collection is available right now if you guys do want to go check it out. But this is like such an easy collection for me to pass. Okay, so up next looks like Juvie's Place is launching a new product. This is the, vol the Volumizing Gloss Sticks. It says the formula contains a blend of five botanical oils infused with rich pigment to deliver high shine and nourishments to the lips. So it's going to come in 12 shades. They're $15 each. And I have to say... I really do like products like this. Like right now I'm actually wearing the hard candy um, in the shade, the one, like the hard candy, like lip plumper. I got this because of Heather Austin. I'm actually wearing the same lip combo. So I'm wearing the um, hard candy lip liner and then the hard candy like little gloss moment, like little lip plumper. I actually really like this combo. It's super affordable. I really do enjoy this. It's just like the perfect dupe to the Get by Mario lip plumping serums, by the way. It's like a perfect dupe to that. And now that Juvia's Place is doing the same thing. I love lip plumping serums, like these little gloss sticks. They're so great. They feel amazing in the lips. They're definitely not long lasting. They do come off rather quickly, but that's probably why they're so affordable too, because they're just great to like look on camera right now. <laughs> So up next, it looks like um, there is a little mini Pat McGrath. This is the mini nude Venus lip trio, and it is gonna be perfect to get right now for the holidays because this is what they have on sale at the Sephora website. I keep seeing this little pack in store. And because it does retail for $29, it's gonna include, because it does retail for $29, I keep seeing it in store, and a part of me kind of like wanted to get it, but then I was like, no, realistically, I wouldn't really use it. But if you did want to get it, now's the time to get it because there is a Sephora sale going on. And this is this can be found on like one of the end caps before you check out also online. But like it's a, such an easy pass for me. So up next, I did a review on this earlier this week, but Glamlight just released their Nightmare on Elm Street collection. So you guys can get the entire collection, I think, for $1. 78 and you guys can use code allyd to save you guys 15 percent off when shopping at glamlight the full collection is still available if you guys do want to get your hands on it um everything's still available everything's still available individually i just did a review if you guys do want to check it out but i also have one more thing to say if you guys really want to get this collection but you guys don't have the budget for it now or you guys want to like wait wait till black friday wait till black friday i'm pretty certain I'm just guessing based on every year that I've seen with Glamlight, I'm pretty certain that at Black Friday, the entire website's gonna be 30% off, which means that there's a good chance this collection could be 30% off. It might not be. It might not be included. It might be like excluded from the sale. I don't know, because I don't know what type of contracts they have with WB. But if it's not, then you guys can wait until Black Friday and save 30% off. Might as well. I don't think it's gonna sell out by that point. I don't think so. Okay, so up next, it looks like Maybelline is releasing a Lifter Plump Lip Plumping Gloss. These retail for $12.99, and it delivers an intense heated sensation and plumping effect instantly and over time with the XL Wand transfers lips into one swipe. So this is something I definitely would like to get. I saw Michaela do like a quick little like review for it on TikTok. I would like to try this out. It has like a spicy symbol on it, so I'm kind of wondering if it's going to be like... Um, 
the heating thing that that rihanna has rolled out with like fenty beauty when they had like little spicy stuff or there was a oh god what was the brand hip dot hip dot released a like spicy collection that i bought i don't remember what it was at this moment tap topico topico that hot sauce i remember i bought that and their lip products were so stingy like they burned i mean like they burned my lips it didn't plump them it felt like i was getting like a third like a like a first degree burn because of how bad it stung so i'm kind of wondering if this is gonna be the same situation is it gonna feel like a thousand bees stabbing me or like someone put a fire on my lips i'm kind of i'm kind of curious so i definitely will be picking these up as soon as i see them in the store okay so up next it looks like beauty creation cosmetics is doing their second collaboration with rosie mcmichael i've never heard of this person I'm so sorry, but they're doing the second collection. So it's going to roll out with a palette, a not so classy lip trio, the liquor chrome trio lip, the rosy highlighter trio and the pink blush dream trio. Um, this is an easy pass for me. I never tried anything from beauty creation cosmetics and I never heard of this person before. And plus this collection just doesn't really like scream my name. It is available on November 9th. If you guys do want to check it out, but I'm gonna pass. Dude, not gonna lie, this next brand, they pump out collections like crazy. I don't get it. But Spectrum Cosmetics just revealed that they are doing a collaboration with Disney's Fantasia. And it is such a cute collection. This is all like a brush collection. I really want this collection, but I just can't justify the price point, 135 on brushes. That just is like crazy. Even though I have my bling brushes, for me, those are more worth it because they're actually blinged. These are just not, I don't know the quality of them. But damn, are these freaking cute. These are so freaking cute, but I don't know how Spectrum Cosmetics pumps out brushes the way they do. It's like every couple weeks they have a new Disney collection. I'm like, how are y'all doing this? How are y'all doing this? So this is something I would like to check out, but I, I probably won't get it. Okay, so this next launch, <laughs> I wish it was real. According to the comment section, this is not real so far, but it looks like supposedly um, Rare Beauty is doing an advent calendar. Let me tell you, if Rare Beauty did an advent calendar, I would a thousand percent purchase that because I want to try more stuff from the brand. I generally haven't. And anytime I go to Sephora in person, they're always sold out of so much. I don't want to get the liquid highlighters or the liquid blushes because I know those are really not for me. But everything else is always like sold out. I'm just like, why? <laughs> I, I could buy it online, sure. But like, it'd just be so freaking cute for them to do an advent calendar. And now, like I said, online, everybody's saying that this is not real. This is a fan made thing. But if it were to come out for real, I guarantee that would sell like in seconds. Like it would sell out and I'd be right there in line trying to get my hands on it. Cause like, how cute would that be? Ah, oh, that'd be so adorable. I wish it were real. Up next, this is such like a cute little photo, but it looks like uh, Li Likes Lacquer just released their Cabin Fever collection. So it's their Christmas inspired nail polish. And this is like the cutest little promo. Like I absolutely am obsessed with how this looks. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Lights Lacquer. Halo, Hollow Taco I have, but Lights Lacquer I haven't. But this is such a cute little nail polish collection. I really want that little box just because I think it's adorable. Okay, so up next, it looks like M Cosmetics is releasing their Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. It is inspired by the exquisite hues of Saturn and in its symbolism for transformation with neutral and bold colors, toasts, soft grays, bronze, soft, soft browns, silver, and lilac tones. It retails for $42. This is such an easy pass for me, like such an easy pass. This is so expensive for truly like what it is. It's just so expensive, so expensive. And it's not even that pretty of a color palette in my personal opinion, so that's an easy pass. Okay, so up next for the first time ever, Glow Recipe is rolling out with their advent calendar. It's 12 days of glow, and it does retail, I think, for $95 or $75. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is super, super cute. I kind of want it. I actually kind of want to buy a couple of advent calendars to do an unboxing here on my channel because I love doing advent calendars. I think they're so much fun and I really would like to get my hands on this and like other ones as well. So I might be, I might be getting this. I might not just kind of like really depends on like what I find online and what I think would be better value for me. But I will say this is super cute. I really do enjoy your glow recipe. So if you like glow recipe, if you like advent calendars, this might be the one for you. It's only going to be available on glow recipes website though. You can't find it anywhere else. Okay. So it looks like this is available now only in Europe, but Emily in Paris did a collaboration with Essence. So it's going to include an eyeshadow palette, false lashes, plumping lip oil, back baked blush lighter, matte lipstick, lip balms, and mini brushes. I have never seen the show. And my friends give me shit for all the time saying you would love it because I love Gossip Girl. I love this. I've never seen Emily in Paris. I don't know. And I don't know if I intend to. Like, I really don't know. It just kind of depends if I'm in the mood for it or not. But if you guys like Emily in Paris, if you guys love Essence, this is going to be the collection for you. But it is only available in Europe. Maybe it'll come here. I don't know. But 
It's a bell if you guys want to check it out. Okay, so up next, it looks like e.l.f. Cosmetics just released a new product, and it is their Cream Glide Lip Liner for only $2 what it's only two dollars are you kidding me that is freaking incredible the fact that it's two dollars is really bringing back like the og elf days when i first was doing makeup i used to exclusively buy elf because it was only a dollar two dollars three dollars four dollars i mean god like those palettes were like five dollars or some of them were like ten dollars at most elf was such an affordable brand it didn't have anything like 10.99 nothing it was like literally just a dollar a dollar for a brush a dollar for this dollar for lipstick and it was so affordable and then they started to go up in price because they started to go up in, you know, in, um, they started to go up in price because they started to go up in popularity. And now they're a little bit more expensive, still pretty affordable, but still not what they used to be. So the fact that it's $2, it's like bringing it back for me. I 100% will definitely be picking some of these up. Okay, so up next, I think I've seen a little bit of drama with this brand. I could be wrong, but Cara Beauty is releasing their Cookie 10 Creative Beauty Palette. Cookie 10 Creative Beauty Palette. That's kind of a complicated name. <laughs> this is gonna include 14 colorful eyeshadows, custom push and pin beauty blender, and too many eyeshadow brushes for 23. Now I reviewed this brand back in 2020, and I you know, really was not impressed with the brand. I thought the palettes were not that overwhelming. I did not really care for the formula or their pressed glitters. So I haven't really kind of viewed this brand ever since, but I will say the outside packaging of this is super cute. They're try definitely trying to be a little bit innovative. And I do think the concept on the inside is really nice as well, because I do know that like, there are a lot of cultures out there who do keep sewing kits inside tin cans like this and they take like these little sponges and they put little little needles in there for sewing kits. Super freaking cute. I definitely like the outside packaging. I'm not the biggest fan of the inside color story or the way that it's laid out just because I feel it's a little messy, a little disorganized, but that's kind of how these things are anyway with like cookie tins and sewing kits. So like I get it, but I think this brand, I could be wrong, but I think this brand did have a little bit of drama with Glamlight back in the day. I think they're like upset with like Glamlight's designs, innovations, packaging, license stuff. I could be wrong, but I do remember seeing something with Glamlight in a brand and I think this was it. I, I could all be wrong here, but um, this is a collection I do think it's cute, but I am gonna pass on. Next, it looks like the Pleasing brand by Harry Styles is releasing some more fragrances. So there's three new fragrances. They retail for 135 each. I'm gonna pass on. I have not really ever seen anyone talk about pleasing. I know they have like nail polishes and stuff like that, but I like to smell perfume before I actually buy it. Just to make sure it's a scent that I really like because I did buy that little perfume sampler. Oh my gosh, y'all. I bought that perfume sampler from Sephora and there are some scents in there. Ooh, ooh, that were just not good. Some smelled like leather. Some smelled like mothballs, and I'm like, who would want to walk around smelling like this? I did find a perfect scent that I'm going to change for myself, but my God, I thought that's why these things are worth it. But some scents, I'm just like, who could wear this? <laughs> so that's why I like to smell things in person, because if I would have bought it, it was Tom Ford, by the way. Tom Ford is one of them that like freaking stunk. If I would have bought it and then it smelled like that, I'd be like, I can't walk around smelling like an old le leather mothball. I just can't. So I would definitely have returned it. So up next, I saw this and a part of me like wants to get it, but a part of me doesn't at the same time. But e.l.f. Cosmetics just announced that they have an advent calendar as well. So you guys can get the Slay the Holidays 24 day advent calendar for 95 or the Love at Frost site 12 day advent calendar for 45. Now this is supposed to have their most viral um, beauty product. Now this is, now these advent calendars, um, now these now these advent calendars are supposed to have like the most newest and viral products from e.l.f. coming in here. And let me tell you, I could tell that e.l.f. has been deleting some comments because there was a lot of negative comments on this post <laughs> when it first launched because everybody's saying, oh great, it's the same advent calendar that you released last year and the year before. You don't change the products on the inside, you just repackage it and send out the same ones. And the e.l.f. ELF people were commenting going, no, no, we put the newest viral products in here and some of our most popular products in here. And I'm looking through the comment section now and all those comments that were talking shit are all gone. They're all gone. Now it's only positive comments. So Elf is deleting comments. Stop. Stop. Because I was literally reading the comments to James because I was like, James, look at these comments. They're freaking hilarious. And uh, they deleted it. Now, the reason I find it hilarious is because last year I bought a Black Friday mystery box from Elf Cosmetics. 
Turns out the mystery box they sent me was the 2021 advent calendar. And I was like, you have got to be shitting me. I paid whatever price I paid for this mystery box and you sent me a year old advent calendar that you guys couldn't sell and played it off like it was a mystery box. And I was so floored by the situation that that's what I got. It came literally in the advent calendar box. I reached out to customer service. Customer service pretty much said, why are you complaining? It's an amazing box. You got an advent calendar. I'm like, you specifically said that this was a mystery box and an advent calendar. I didn't want to buy a year old makeup, uh, makeup calendar. I didn't want to buy a year old makeup calendar. Probably these items in here might be expired. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't want it. I felt, I felt cheated. So they, and we kind of went back and forth. They were pretty much like, we don't understand why you care about this. We think this box is amazing. This is an amazing advent calendar. They were so high up on their pedal stool that they thought that they thought what they did was great. They thought that they blessed me with the best mystery box they could possibly bless me with. The whole video and updates, there's like several updates are like on my channel last year for like the November, December time frame. if you guys wanna go check it out. Cause I talked about this a lot by the way, but they thought they blessed me with the best box in the world and they didn't. But it ended up working out because you know, I was just like, you know what, whatever. I'm not gonna sit here and bitch about it. It's, I can't cry over spilled milk. It's done, whatever, whatever's done is done. You guys just kind of lied about it. And I just don't like the lying about um, false advertisement. I didn't like that. So they ended up making up to me, tried to, and they sent me a whole set of their new like satin note lipsticks. They sent me the whole set just to make up for it. That was coming out in a couple weeks. And I was like, okay, thanks. And then I kind of laughed and said, well, there's one PR box I will never, there's one PR list I'll never get on because I was just like, screw you elf. But like in a funny manner, I was never negative about it. I was never talking shit about the brand. I was laughing about it the whole time. The whole time, if you guys want to watch that video, I was laughing going, well, I, this way it is, it is what it is. So anyway, I told that story to say that they have an app and calendar now and I kind of want to get it just to be like, you know what I mean? Like, is this good? Is it, is it the same products that I got last year from the year before? Like, I kind of want to get it for that. But they're supposed to have their viral products in here too. We shall see. So I, I might, I might get this and see if Elf redeemed themselves or that it literally is. Or to see if it literally is the same advent calendar every year, just a different packaging. <laughs> Next, Artitude Cosmetics just launched their brand new collection. So this is the, um, um, a, 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 a Oh my God, I can't think. It's this collection. I, I can't, I can't even think right now, oh my God. Okay, so this powder retails for $45.07. There's also gonna be lashes, pigments, dimensional highlighters, traditional highlighters, and some applicators. You guys can buy the full bundle for $146.20. I actually do have a code with them. I'll link it down here below if you guys do wanna check it out. But they did send me the full collection. I definitely will be doing a review for you guys, but I just wanna show you guys how beautiful this palette is. Um, cause this is such a stunning, stunning little palette. This is like perfect for the fall season. It's like a deep, cool tone fall palette. Like look at how pretty that is. Super freaking beautiful. I do have all the other products as well, but I just wanted to show you guys the palette right here. This collection is live if you guys do want to get it. It's not limited edition and it definitely will be restocked, but it takes about 10 to 12 weeks to restock if it does sell out. So this is their newest collection and I'm so beyond grateful that they sent this my way because I really did love their Man Eater palette and now we have this one right here. I can't even, my, my brain is just so foggy right now. My ab, abstention, I'm, I don't even know. I'm not even gonna try it. I'm just Running on fumes is what I'm doing. I'm running on fumes. So yeah, I'm really excited about this collection. You guys will definitely be seeing a review very soon. Okay, so up next, which I think is actually really cool because I've never really tried this brand, but Lush is officially coming to Ulta. So I've never really had a chance to try this brand. I do know that it's at like all like my high-end malls, but I never tried it because it's just so far away from me. So now they're bringing it to Ulta. I don't know if it's gonna be available in store for me personally with my Ulta, but it's gonna be available online. You guys can save your points. You guys can earn points buying stuff from Lush. I'm actually really excited. There's some things from this brand that I've always wanted to try. So I'm actually really excited that they're coming to Lush. So that is a cool little like breaking news that's happening with Ulta right now. That's exciting. Okay, so up next, Ofer Cosmetics just released their Glitzmiths collection. So this is going to include a pro palette on the go volumizing like highlighter set. It's gonna have like three or four little mini 
It's got three little mini highlighter ornaments. Those are so freaking cute. Plus it's also gonna offer three new highlighters as well. I do have the collection. I'm definitely going to be doing a little review for you guys. It's probably gonna be like in a full face of trying new makeup so you guys can check it out. As always, you guys can use code Allie, save you guys 20% off at Ofra. This is such a cute little collection. I think it's perfect for the holiday season and it's called Little Glitzmas. And I just think the little ornaments are just so adorable. You guys have got to check it out. Okay, so this last launch, I'm definitely going to talk about it, not because I support this brand or this creator, but because I have been seeing it on my For You page on TikTok and people have been sending it to me, kind of asking me what my opinions are on this. One, I'm, I don't support the creator. I don't, support, I don't support the brand, but I will say I think the marketing behind it is quite genius. But James Charles just recently announced that Painted by James Charles is releasing their second product, which is going to be the Basic Canvas Eyeshadow Palette. So it's going to be revealed sometime... In the coming weeks it's going to be revealed but it's like a 24 pan neutral eyeshadow palette one i find that to be really boring personally for me i find that to be really boring but two um it's not original in the slightest but hey i did watch the trailer because it was sent my way i did watch the reveal trailer sort of because it didn't actually reveal anything but i will say the trailer was actually pretty sick it was uh james charles kind of making fun of himself throughout the years of him being on youtube he saw all his previous errors essentially like the taylor, taylor swift tour all his previous errors and stuff like that and i will say it's a, kind of a genius way to market the new palette is to talk about his old self and kind of poke fun of his old self as someone who makes fun of my own self i do appreciate the marketing behind it but i'm definitely not going to get this especially the outside packaging he said that like he painted the squares himself in the outside packaging really boring but i do know that people out there do like painted by james charles there are makeup artists out there who do support the brand still i'm not one of them but i'm definitely gonna let you guys know that this is gonna be coming soon if you guys do want to go check it out i just is such an easy easy pass for me so those are all the new makeup releases that we have so far. We are definitely rolling into the holiday season. I'm wearing another holiday spirit jersey because it's a little cold here, like, you know, low six, low 70s, high 60s, and that's cold for me. And I also just feel like shit, so I just want to be, I just want to be comfy. So I do apologize for having um, kind of a, not a lot of energy in this video, for not being my normal hyper self i'm trying to give it all i can in this video i didn't want to miss an upload i know you guys would have told me oh take the day off relax no <laughs> maybe maybe next week i will but i wanted to not miss a new makeup release video because i really do enjoy doing these videos i think they're a lot of fun and they're kind of easy to do so yeah i'm here looking like shit but it is what it is it's life and i need it to work so with that said guys thank you for all your love and support on all my videos and for just being so patient with me in today's video i really appreciate it you guys mean the world to me and i love you guys so much so that is one positive thing that i have going for me this week is you guys so with that said, guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know down below. Were you guys excited about anything I talked about this week? Were you guys bored? Let me know. But yeah, if you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. So I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you and I'll see you guys in the very next video.